game over. As Megan faces turn very pale, as Samantha drops a fatal evidence that sues her for her lies to Oprah. Megan Markle didn't have the crappy childhood that she wants the public to believe, as according to her half sister, who is now dragging Megan to court, suing over the famous Oprah Winfrey interview. Samantha Markle is suing Megan for defamation, and she is especially pissed off about some of the things that she and Prince Harry had told Oprah about the Markle fam. And in the docks, obtained by TMZ, Samantha rips into Meghan for spinning a rags to royalty narrative about herself, which she claims is simply false. Samantha claims of Meghan is trashing her, and she is spreading outright lies in order to bolster the notion that she overcome leeching family members. For example, Sam point out that she and Meghan share the same father in Thomas Markle, yet Meghan told Oprah that she was the only child. She also claims that Meghan had dropped another lie when she had told Oprah she had last seen Samantha at least 18 or 19 years ago, and before that, 10 years before that. As those aren't the only alleged distances, as Samantha claims that Meghan got into a flat-out wrong when she told Oprah that Samantha only changed her name to Markle after Meghan had started dating Harry. And in the suit, Samantha also claims that Meghan's fabricated tales are growing up in a virtual poverty, because Thomas had paid for her to attend elite and expensive private schools and dance and acting classes, as she had claimed that Dad had also covered Meghan's tuition and living expenses when she went to Northwestern University, something the Duchess had told Oprah and Ellen DeGeneres she had worked to pay for herself. As for Megan's motive, Samantha claims that she allegedly lies about her and their father that were a part of a calculated effort so they could not interfere with or contradict the false narrative and fairy tale life story connected by Megan. Samantha says that Megan's harsh words have hurt sales of her autobiography and prevented her from getting jobs and it caused emotional and mental distress. As recently, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, is insisting that she never lied to Oprah Winfrey during her bombshell TV interview after her half sister Samantha Markle had sued her. During a sit down interview with Oprah in 2020, Megan discussed her childhood and had said that she grew up as an only child, though she has two half siblings. And now Samantha is seeking more than $100,000 in damages, claiming that those comments, as well as a decisive royal biography, subjected her to shame and hate. As according to the 57-year-old, who is Thomas Markle's eldest daughter, Meghan's comments to Oprah about growing up as an only child are outright lies. Taking the royal to court for defamation, Samantha has allegedly that the false and malicious lies about Meghan's rags of royalty story subjected her to humiliation, shame and hatred on a worldwide scale. But the Duchess of Sussex's legal team had to hit back at those allegations, saying that Meghan's comments were a statement of opinion and not fact. In the paperwork filed by the royal lawyers, they refute Samantha's assertion that she can disprove that Meghan had grew up as an only child. But this perception is inherently unfalsifiable, as it is hard to imagine a more personal and subjective feeling than how one views their own childhood. As the documents read, Moreover, plaintiff Samantha's opposition completely ignores the context of this statement, whereas Mr. Winfrey had asked Megan about her relationship with plaintiff, to whom Ms. Winfrey had referred to as a half-sister on her father's side. Megan's response to that question, that she had grew up as an only child, was obviously not meant to be a statement of objective fact, that she had no genetic siblings or half-siblings. Instead, Megan's lawyers had called the comments a textbook's example of subjective statement about how a person feels about her childhood. They also slammed Samantha's attempts to sue Megan over the royal biography Finding Freedom, which documents her and Prince Harry's 2020 royal exit. Lawyers had argued that the Duchess cannot be sued for a book that she didn't even write. As Megan did not make the statement, she cannot be liable for them, they said. It is that simple. Samantha appears to have been relying on rumors 
that could have provided statements to the book authors Omich Gobi and Caroline Durant, as the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex have always denied these claims. In other news, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle have been warned about the inevitable implosion of their plans for the royal family. As royal commentator and author Daniel Els had issued this insight into a new piece for thenews.com.au. She began by writing Harry and Meghan, Buckingham Palace Exiles, and the world's most famous titled Malcontents. Fancy a spot of bridge healing and bridge building with this family, or at least according to the new reporting. But a wholesale reconciliation with the royal family? Well, the idea of the Sussexes angling to make peace with the House of Windsor had seemed about as likely as someone being able to pry a glass of red wine out of Camilla, Queen Consort's hand, after 5 pm. And now, before anyone injures themselves trying to make sense of this Volte face, there is, of course, a caveat. As the rep approachment, it has only been slated to kick off after Harry's memoir and that hit shelves, and then Netflix documentary had landed on the streaming giant. 